what's going on guys in today's video I'm going to be showing you my old waste oil burner and I'm gonna melt down some aluminum now this is actually being filmed after I used it because I had a really hard time getting this to light and fire and burn the oil so let me go through the process with you guys stay tuned and I'll do a voiceover on how I did it and how I finally got it to fire all right guys, so this is the second time I'm using this oil burner. The first time was so much easier to get it to fire the oil. So you need to start a fire inside of the container first. And I'm just using some dried out reeds that I had in the yard from last year that I saved for this purpose actually. And you wanna make sure you press it all the way into the can. So I'm just using a piece of aluminum to do that. And after that, I'm throwing in little twigs that I had, um, you know, three inches, four inches long, one inch diameter. They should, they should fire pretty good. So then I'm gonna put some newspapers and I'm gonna light that up and push that in as well to really start the fire and get it going. And this is exactly what I did the first time I used this burn. Now that I have a fire started, I'm actually now going to introduce some air to really kick up the flame. And for this, I'm going to use a hair dryer. And once again, I did this the first time that I used the burner. So it didn't really ignite very good. So now I'm just going to try to use my propane torch to introduce more flame because there was already a little flame in there but I'm just using this to give it a little bit more flame to help the wood catch on fire and I did throw in a few extra pieces of wood that I didn't video so this next clip I'm using my propane furnace burner this will now give me constant flame in there and I actually am also going to add a little bit more wood to it and these pieces of wood are much larger than the last pieces of wood. I figured doing it this way would make this happen much quicker. Now I'm going to put in the oil feeder into the inlet pipe. And this is my little contraption here. I'm going to fill that with oil. And when I'm ready, I will open up the valve and it will gravity feed into the inlet pipe. Now I'm going to check the temperature of the tank as well as the internal temperature of the tank. And that will tell me if the oil will ignite. So the outside temperature is about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and the inside temperature is about 900 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. So I think for sure that this is going to ignite the oil when I start to introduce it. So when I first introduced the oil, I could not get it to fire, even with it at 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So I had to add these larger pieces of wood to the burner. Oh, and I also added in some additional air using my modified vacuum cleaner. She's gone from suck to blow. What? Here you will see I'm just using the air coming from the vacuum cleaner. I actually took out the propane burner that I was using, but I still could not get it to light like I wanted it to. So now in the next clip you'll see I actually put back the propane burner back into the inlet pipe to really get this fire going.
Now you can see the oil is now finally burning and it's almost time for me to disconnect the propane burner that I have in the inlet pipe. But before I do that, I just want to take the temperature one more time. You can see the outside of this canister is now over a thousand degrees. It's now time to turn off the propane tank and have it just be burning off of waste oil. In case you're wondering, that rag to the left of the screen is actually on fire. That's one of the rags I had next to the burner. So now I'm going to add on a little furnace that I built. It has a hole in the bottom, so any molten metal will now drip down through the hole out the bottom. Now I started to realize my burner is actually melting into my driveway. Real nice. So the flame isn't as volatile and kind of stopped melting the aluminum. So I just wanted to pull this out to grab the little bit that it melted so far. And then I'll boost it up by putting more oil and I'll push that back under to catch more.
guys. Well, that's that's a wrap for today. Um, what a pain in the butt that was to get this oil burner going. I just couldn't get the oil to catch on fire. It just kept smoking. But, you know, I didn't give up. Guys, I didn't give up. And I got it probably after about an hour of doing it. Um, but I got it. So let me just show you um, what I what I got left from that aluminum piece that I put in there. All right, guys, it's like three hours later. Um, it's not hot. This is, you know, there's a little bit of slag on top of this. Um, I did pull this out midway through. You see the little droplets of aluminum that went through. Um, but I, I really wanted it to go in the ingot here. Um, but it didn't really make it into the ingot very well, I guess. Um, but it's okay. It's all right. So guys, that's my oil burner. This is the second time that I used the oil burner and uh, I wish I could come up with a better way. I really do because I have some aluminum rims that I'd like to throw inside of here and melt them down into ingots so I could cast them very easily. And I have a lot of waste oil to get rid of. So I really need to figure out another way. I might actually make an oil slash propane burner. Um, I probably won't even put it in here. I'll, I'll probably make something to actually put in here. Um, or actually, I'll just make a oil slash propane burner for my old furnace that I built years ago. Uh, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash the like button. Comment below. And I'll see you in the next video.